Yep. So, <laughs> I'm back out in a location I've been before. I am back out at <laughs> Amelisberge. Uh, I made a video about this, I think it's one or two weeks ago, where I went up here with a Canon T70 and roll of FP4+. Plus. It didn't really go to plan that trip. Uh, I was very excited at the time. Uh, I was happy snapping around. I was on aperture priority. I just rattled off 36 frames far too quickly. And when I looked at the negatives when I came back home, I was still in that kind of spirit of yay! Finally spring shooting again. Finally no snow. And then a few days passed and I'm not so sure anymore. I think that I went into the digital trap just rattling off shots and even though I got one or two good ones you can see my two favorites on my Instagram uh, put a link to that in the description even though I kind of like those two they were not a good representation of the day and they were not what I had in mind. So I went into the digital trap and I think I basically wasted about three fourths of that, three quarters of the roll of film, really, on pictures that were never going to be anything, you know. The subject looked nice enough, but just that uh, something looks nice doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good composition. And that was what happened to me that day. So I'm out today with my Hasselblad, a roll of Kodak Ektar, and I will try to do this place justice once and for all. Please join me. spoke to a fireman who was <laughs> just as interested in photography as I am so if you're watching me it was nice talking to you he was out here with his micro four thirds camera a little Olympus OMD EM1 and his looks have got, gotten just amazing pictures he was actually out putting up posters a warning about forest fires because that could happen at this time because it's quite dry yeah, we're back at this beautiful view here. Uh, I will not pass this one. I will get that tree and I will try to crop that into, into the square format in a nice way. And then I will, I will make one or two exposures here because I, got, I like the way the clouds lie around it. Oh, but, you know, I will set up and then, I, and then you will see me back when I talk you through my composition. My first composition in front of me here is that lonely tree that oh not lonely but it's that area now with those trees and I have this kind of yellowish colored carpet in front of it and then I have the lake forming that Z form or that Z form or an S form or whatever you want to call it I don't really care um, and I will try to include that as well uh, 
I will meter it up. I will shoot f16 because I want. I don't want to go to f22 today because I will. I think that would be too contrasty with the lighting conditions I currently have. But you know, please enjoy it when the picture is done. slowly around to not make it too dizzy uh, it's this little path area and I want to try to frame it so that it's a leading line about in the middle of the, of the frame uh, for my exposure I'm actually getting a second at f16 uh, so I'm gonna use the cable release for this one absolute favorite things to do. Uh, I just spotted this beautiful little area down here, a little log. I don't know if you can actually see it properly, it's in the middle of the picture about now. Uh, and you can see immediately when I go into a forest, I kind of lower my voice because I don't want to disturb the, the quiet. Uh, actually I grew up with a grandfather who used to tell me that when you're in the forest, you are visiting the wild animals, it's their home and they want their peace. So for me, I, I, I just can't stand shouting and screaming in the forest. It's just such a beautiful location this though. So I'm going to try this one now. I get uh, an eight of a second at f8 and I hope you will enjoy it when it's done. I actually finished the trip up to Amelisberge and here is the magnificent view. Isn't this just amazing? I will, I will see what I can do of this because this, I will take one plain one and then I will try to find some kind of foreground. Uh, I have very limited amount of battery left on this vlogging camera now so I will not make any promises on being able to speak more to you today but if not thanks for joining me and i hope you enjoy this video 
as much as I enjoy making it because I actually really love making this video uh, I'm exhausted the last 900 meters were just straight up but you know if you want the view you need to you need to deal with both wind and some steep hills actually I can see a lot of crows and things up here it's really beautiful I really recommend this trip though even though it's extremely tiring but I'm saying thank you with these beautiful pictures and I hope you will enjoy my analog pictures with the Kodak Ektar as well. Thank you. phone because my GoPro that I've filmed most of this video on is empty there's no more battery on it um, I'm just just have a few thoughts to share before I leave you and that's just a little thank you to all those people who are members of the friends of this and this area who spend so much of their time and knowledge on preparing and making these kinds of areas like this available for people. They're not paid for it. They just do it out of their enthusiasm and out of their passion for nature. And... I don't think we can put a number on the value of this. I certainly enjoy it. And even though I'm not a part of any of these ones at the moment, I'm not saying that I won't be in the future. I just don't have enough knowledge yet. But this is... These people deserve all the thank yous and all the kudos they can ever get so if you are one of these people thank you and if you meet one of these people buy them a coffee thank you for joining me <laughs>